Hello and welcome to the Kia Nero plug-in hybrid channel here on YouTube. My name is Kevin Drake and we're going to be talking about the 2023 Kia Nero plug-in and the two electric motors you actually have on board. The first is your primary um, 62,000 watt slash 80 horsepower electric motor and the second is actually your hybrid starter um, generator. So if I turn on the car we can talk very briefly about what it does. Um, if we look at the console here, you'll notice, you know, the all electric uh, mode is wonderful. And I've always gotten the promise 33 miles up to 48 miles of continuous electric uh, use from the battery. But you'll notice here um, where it says RPMs, this will tell you if the engine is on and the RPM is running. But there are or there have been in the last almost 5,500 miles, a couple occasions where the engine will turn on while I'm in all electric mode. It'll bring itself up to about 1400 RPMs and you have no control over that. Essentially the engine clutch actuator has separated the engine and a device called the hybrid starter generator. So I'll pop the hood here and we'll take a look. This is really a key component um, in the drivetrain because um, like we talked about in a previous video, when you have it in sport mode, I'll just turn off the car actually, when you have the car in sport mode, that hybrid starter generator can put out up to 8,000 watts of continuous power. And when I have the car plugged in to our house outlet here, I can only run 1,200 watts continuous power uh, back to the battery through the onboard charger. So I've, known, I know, I've, I've talked about this component before. It has a belt, uh, it's a high voltage water cooled, um, it's called a permanent magnet synchronous motor. So it has um, an AC stator. So the, co the magnets go around the rotor. And, um, and then the DC power is in the rotor. Um, so the large 80 horsepower, 62,000 um, watt motor is also considered um, a permanent magnet synchronous motor. So it's similar in this way. Um, but what's really neat is when the engine uh, clutch actuator has separated the engine, the engine and your hybrid starter generator can operate um, independently. Uh, it can send the needed power that's um, on demand for the cabin. Or what's really impressive is, like we talked about in a previous video, you can run the car in sport mode um, and actually put about a mile of battery, uh, let's see, a mile on the battery for every mile ridden, if you have the RPMs correct. Um, and um, I find that actually um, really useful. But really this video is just so you're not surprised if you see your engine turn on, uh, let's say if all the heats, you know, if you want all the heat on for all the seats and you have your climate controls turned up, you may find that your engine turns on to produce more power uh, for the cabin or for uh, the battery. Another important thing, and I'll link in the description um, to, to a video, there's a great channel on uh, hybrid systems and solutions, uh, and there's a wonderful guy there who breaks one of these down. It's the same hybrid starter generator you find in a Hyundai Ionic, I think it is, but he breaks it down and one of the O-rings that seals the uh, water cool jacket. Um, so if you see here, this is the water lines moving in and out, and there's a jacket around the motor that pulls heat out because all these high voltage systems produce a lot of waste heat that needs to be dealt with through so that water there, that blue solution. I believe that's a non-conductive um, coolant solution, but the point is, when you do your coolant changes, if you take this on yourself, you really need to use um, really high quality um, water coolant because it interacts with those rubber O-rings um, that seal the, the water jacket away from um, the AC stator, the inner, inner parts of the hybrid starter generator. So anyway, just a quick talk about what that does and how useful it is um, in the car. Okay. Thanks so much. I'll see you again.